Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Yoshi man. Last time we've defeated Ishizu Ishtar uh, two times, uh, let me tell you, she was not the very brightest at all. And this time, well, I'm actually going to change my deck first uh, before I hop on to anything. Uh, you can also use the filter uh, thing uh, to uh, actually search out uh, some cards. Uh, I think I'm going to put in a Total Defense Soldier uh, I don't know if I want to put the Bean Soldier in. I might cloak up the deck a little bit with uh, some crap. But actually, in, I think I'm going to drop uh, the uh, Ritual uh, spell and also uh, Dark Magician of Black Chaos. Or Magician of Black Chaos, yes. Uh, there's also a card Dark uh, called uh, uh, Dark Magician of Chaos, which is a very good card, uh, but it's not in the game yet. It's actually the same uh, card, uh, I mean the uh, same character, but just a different card and different effect. So yeah, uh, so I modified my deck and now I'm ready uh, to uh, duel. Hello, how are you doing? I'm in at peak condition. And so are my boobs. <laughs> okay, uh, let's hop on to it. And this time I'm going first. Um, let's see. I'm going to set this card and start with this. Yep, Cyber Harpy is not really that uh, powerful enough uh, to actually uh, get over my mystical elf. Hmm, I can do something very risky and just go for it. I feel like, you know, I'm in a danger zone. I'm feeling like Risky Richard. But I have like two spell cards to back me up. Hmm, that can be interesting. Ooh. Uh, lap. I, you can also do this when your opponent attacks. So I. So the opponent actually gets damaged. Uh, that's one of the cool things you can do with uh, Mystical Space if when a sp field spell card is uh, on the field. Just uh, to use a uh, mystical space of wound as a trap, so their attack gets uh, decreased back to the original. This is why I love, you know, uh, quick play spell cards. It's one of these uh, good perks. And it's not negated by uh, Jinzo too, so... <laughs> A very, very uh, recommendable cards. Uh, can I attack for game? Uh, I don't. Let's see what he, she has. Uh, nothing. Uh, I'll just sweat it out one more turn and. Hmm. I'm owning her ass. It's not even funny. Harpy's Feather Duster. Uh, yeah, no need to uh, activate my uh, Rage Jammer on that. Hmm. I will uh, go for game. Monster Reborn. You can also use the opponent's monsters as well, so. Here's Cyber Harpy. And I'm going to finish you off. Very easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And there you have it. You win.
I am the wiener! Seriously, that was a quick duel. See, this is why certain cards need to be banned. Ooh, another total defense shogun and s giant red sea snake in 1800 attack meter. This is going to be uh, my deck for sure. Ooh, I only see two duelists. Uh, I'm going to uh, change up my deck some more. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, sh should I drop my. Uh, whatchamacallit? My. Uh, I'm going for this one. Uh, I think this actually is a very good card, so I'm actually going to drop it. Uh, or maybe drop the Dark Magician Girl. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to have a mass overhaul uh, to get rid of this and, and possibly get rid of uh, Dark Magician Girl. I think. Also, why is this in my deck? <laughs> Need to get this out. So I've like. Still a decent amount of uh, monsters that are very uh, having considerable stats. Okay, this is a passenger. Oh, that passenger is rooting for me. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's also a uh, championship. It's one of these, uh, you know. Hello participants and welcome to the dual tournament! This is where you can find out if you've learned anything from your day-to-day -day dueling. It, the tournament is played in matches, so yeah. You can also... what this means is actually you have to do... Uh, to get... play uh, to, uh, the best... Uh, to two out of uh, three matches. So if you do, uh, win two times, uh, then yeah, you're the winner. So it's basically a two out of deep three uh, duels. And this is where your side deck uh, comes in handy, but I don't have a side deck. Uh, that's that's not very smart. Uh, if you go to tournaments, uh, it's very uh, useful to have a side deck. Just saying. If you go to tournaments in real life, that is. Ooh, not even strong enough. Damn. She's not having that uh, strong of a monster. Uh, you know what? I'm going to tribute uh, Witch of the Black Forest for a uh, Millennium Golem. So the effect of uh, uh, Witch of the Black Forest activates so I can search out uh, a strong monster. But it has to be at least uh, no, it has to be less than equal or less to uh, 1,500 uh, defense, and I just walked into it. Ah, <laughs> oh, Mirafors, why must you always pestering me? And then getting some damage. That's it's not that great. Another phase zone. I hate phase zone cards. Ooh, I can uh, use this uh, in the future. But for right now, let's attack with uh, Slate Warrior. And I'm going to take uh, this Skull Red Bird and... Wait, I'm not... Oh, what are you doing? Stalling it out. Uh, I have like Magic Jammer to back it up. Uh, well, actually Rising Air Current also affects my uh, Slate Warrior, so... Uh, no need to do anything. If it's like a dark hole, yeah, then we'll talk. Yeah, cards like dark hole uh, are banned uh, nowadays. You can actually splash two uh, dark holes uh, now uh, in this day and age, which sounds crazy, but yeah, not many people are using dark hole nowadays. Some, actually, some people uh, refuse to play uh, Raigeki, or not actually refuse to play Raigeki, just not uh, playing it because it doesn't uh, fit their deck. I mean, most decks have Raigeki, but there are some people who don't uh, play it. Uh, 
Why do you do that? Hmm. That takes my uh, giant threat. That's fine by me. Special summon something. Uh, I want to special summon the bean soldier. Uh, let's. Uh, hmm. Uh, I will summon uh, Gazelle and then. Um, yeah, I think it's more than enough. Even the Slate Ward is a roadblock. I mean, that win interview is actually a roadblock for her. It's actually kind of random that it's actually a wind type monster, even though it's a fiend. But yeah, it can also be used to your advantage if you have, like, you know, wind type deck. I've finished I'm changing my cards. Be prepared to face my harem of Hellions in the next duel. Well, obviously I cannot do anything uh, with my side deck. Yeah, two phase stones. Uh, should I actually play defensively? I will play Giant Rat and... And then let's see where it goes. Oh, it's a jellyfish. It's not even strong enough to uh, get over my giant rat. Uh, I'll draw. Uh, I think I'm, it's a perfect time to drop the Jinzo on the field. So she cannot play any uh, trap cards. Quick! Also, quick play cards, uh, you can add. You can still play quick play cards uh, as a use for a trap. So there are also a few quick play uh, spell cards that can counter Jinzo. I think my brother actually has played uh, Jinzo in uh, one of our duels that we had, and I actually uh, screwed him over with a quick play spell card. Uh, I assume I should have known that uh, it was a. Uh, uh, mirror Force. I should not actually attack with uh, Giant Threads. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, attack with the Ancient Elf then. Uh, yeah, negate the get back. Okay, let's wait one more turn then. And she's going to summon a strong monster. Yeah, that's a strong monster. I mean, strong enough to beat my Ancient Elf. Uh, let's draw. Uh, mystical space of room. Uh, I will set this and probably uh, set this uh, phase zone. If she destroyed my uh, Witch of the Black Forest, uh, I can actually search for a Slate Warrior. Because the defense is very low. I mean, low enough to actually uh, search for it. Uh, draw, summon Slate Warrior. It's like, you know, my, basically my, uh, signature, signature card. What is she going to do? Sort of revealing light. I can actually MST that, or yeah. MST is actually this goes space of food for short. Uh, let's see. I'm going to uh, get rid of it. I don't want her to stall. I'm going to take with the giant soldier of stone. Bit risky because it has, doesn't have a lot of attack. Uh, let's see what she does. What she is going to do. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm go having this one. Because, you know, I can activate Giant Trinade so uh, her spell and trap card. All the spell and trap cards that are on the field are getting returned to the hands. So actually, return them. Bones and 
bounce the, these cards back to the hand and then finish her off. So that's GG. GG well played. Jesus Christ, uh, Maya's being a pushover. <laughs> How can I lose like that? My boobs are in danger. Okay, I should really stop uh, thinking about my my boobs. Uh, what do we have? Yeah, the words card. I don't get why they made this card. I think it might be an error in the translation. And that's why it has this uh, awful effect. Because I think, you know, the thought process of the, uh, of the people designing this uh, card is like, you know, supposed to be the light mon- when this card battles the light monster, it's actually the, the, have, uh, the offense get decreased by half. But it's actually no, the opposite. The defense of this monster get decreased by half when it's attacked by light monsters. So yeah, that's like a mistake, this card. Uh, I'm not uh, going to add anything. Uh, let's uh, duel this blurry face. Oh, it's the Gardner! What's the all? I've reinforced my deck! With Yugi's help, oh my! I'm Enzo Shinzaki! Also, uh, it's actually Theo Gardner, but Enzo is actually the Japanese uh, name. Uh, just like you know. So yeah, Thea is actually our next duelist. Don't underestimate her, uh, she's actually quite tough uh, uh, in this game. She's not uh, fooling around, uh, she has like, you know, decent attack monsters and she also has a very strong fusion monster. She's kinda annoying to duel against. Um, I'm going to attack with uh, both my monsters. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's the Lady of the Flames. Uh, she can remove uh, up to three, remove three cards from the top of the deck to the graveyard, and remove them actually from place and to inflict 800 damage. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a gimmicky effect. Not really that good. Ooh, Agent Elf, that's kinda strong. So my Sangha has destroyed, uh, so I actually have to search. Well, I'm going to search for Gazal because that's, uh, that thing can get over the Agent Elf. Well, I also have Slate Warrior as backup, so... I'm not going to use it uh, right now. I want to wait a little bit. Though she summons a stronger monster. But yeah, if she fears a monster, then it's actually no use. Although, like, I can actually use uh, Sage Warrior. To putting it in a good use. Also, Fire Princess. Takes directly. If she actually gains life points, I will lose life points. You can actually do combos with a uh, uh, Fire Princess. I've actually made a deck around uh, Fire Princess. A bit of a stylish uh, burn deck. You can actually make some some burn deck. That means it actually burn cards are actually uh, you know damage inflict uh, not by attack but by uh, you know damage by effect. Also, the beautiful Hat Huntress has a lot of attack, but it's, there's no it's not a match. Uh, for my Slate Warrior. That's also one of the stronger cards that Thea has. Also Monster Reborn. And sh no, she's not going to Tribute. Okay, that's kind of a dumb play because if I destroy that monster and it... Because basically if it get destroyed it goes to my graveyard and it actually activates when it's in my graveyard so I, I can actually get a search and special summon a monster so that's not very smart so yeah I destroyed it yes I'm going to special summon a monster 
and I will go for the another giant threat. Uh, I'll attack with giant threats. And what's this? Oh, spirit of the breeze. Spirit of the breeze, spirit of the breeze. I am the spirit, spirit of the breeze. Okay, but read the following one. Uh, I can actually go for a game if I do this. So yeah, uh, I can yeah go go for a game then. Marvelous. Attack. My, my army of uh, Earth Attribute Monsters. Yeah, this is why I like Giant Threat. <laughs> and there you have it. You win! I told you to handle me with care. If that's going to be one to play, I'm going to learn some comments and teach you a lesson when we meet each other again. Well, wow, she's kind of a bitch, <laughs> a bit salty right there. <laughs> Another uh, sort of defense shogun, I have like a playset of three. If I have more of a sort of defense shogun, that's not going to be a use, because you can only uh, use, uh, I believe, up to three cards uh, in your deck. There are some certain cards that you can only play one of it, them. I mean, you have uh, like uh, also a limited list. Uh, there are certain cards that you actually ha uh, can only play uh, one in your deck, so like Change of Hearts, for example, because these cards are so fucking powerful. And even uh, there's in the even then uh, nowadays uh, they're too powerful, uh, so they have to ban it actually from playing it. So yeah. So hope you guys and gals enjoyed this episode, leave a comment or like or subscribe and do all this good stuff and I will see you in the next one. Take care and bye!